I made it outside. We are cooking out today. Chef Chris Hill from The Bachelor Kitchen is here. Is this a first for you grilling for us? I've never been outside. Always a little... In your uh, whole life or just... That's right. First time ever. Yep. Wow. So All it's right. to be here with you guys. What are you making here today? Um, we have some flat iron steaks that I've marinated um, in a really good cilantro mint pesto. Mm -hmm. Kind of doing some south of the border flavors, um, Argentina, Brazil. Doing that with some uh, uh, corn that we're going to show a really super easy way to grill uh, or do corn for a big group. And then a uh, watermelon caipirinha, something really right, nice and refreshing for a hot day like today. What's that drink called? A watermelon caipirinha. Right on. That's All right, right, we made him slow down to say it, and it sounds like the perfect drink to slow down on this 4th That's of right. July and enjoy being American. We're going to get started on our recipe in just a minute. All right, and we're back outside on the Bachelor patio with That's Chris right. Hill of the Bachelor Kitchen, who's agreed to grill out for us on this 4th of July with a perfect recipe if you're just going to have a few people, but especially if you've got a crowd a group, coming over. Yeah, uh, definitely. We, um, you know, you, a lot of people do corn on 4th of July. It's hard. You put it on your stove, and you could put, what, four or five pieces. It boils over. Yeah. So I have a really easy recipe you can do for four or for 15 if you want. Okay. And then we're also going to marinate some steak. Um, so let's go ahead and do this corn. we get that started. It'll take about 30 minutes or so. I've already uh, shucked it and everything, so it's super easy. I so you're not using the husk to cook it in? Nope. Okay. Nope. Which is one really cool way to do it. And, you know, once you cook it like that, it comes off really easily. But I have some spices and uh, a little bit of brown sugar here. I have some cumin some chili powder, some salt, pepper, uh, a little bit of uh, ground ginger, mm -hmm. and then uh, a little bit of cinnamon. We're just going to take a little bit of that seasoning, and then we're going to throw some butter on each of these. So, uh, you know, it's already seasoned, so once it's done cooking, everybody can grab one of these pouches, and you don't need to have any butter on the side or however you like to do your corn at the house. Mm -hmm. Then we're just going to wrap these up, and then, to be real easy, we're going to just throw them right here in this cooler. In the cooler? That's right. How are they going to cook in there, Chris Hill? Well, here's the little magic of, uh, of what we're doing. We have some uh, boiling hot water here. Uh -huh. We're going to throw that right inside, and we're going to steam it. It's so, going to steam right in these little pouches. Hold on now. You get the boiling hot water, and then you pour the water into the cooler? That's right. And uh, the important thing, too, is you know, with plastic these days, a lot of plastic isn't food-safe plastic which is why we're wrapping it up in these uh, aluminum foil. Mm -hmm. There are certain coolers that are, so just check, check with what you're, uh, what you're buying. If they're not, then just make sure that you have, um, have it wrapped up so that you don't get any of the toxins from the, uh, the plastic. But, All right, um, and the hot water's not gonna hurt the cooler? It's, nope, it sure won't. And it's nice and uh, just pour it right out when you're done. How did you figure that out? How did you ever, how it's did actually you realize you could do this um, Those camping, people who go camping a lot, you know, out in the wilderness, try and find an easy way to do things. And that's the, about the easiest way to do corn ever, right? I'm very, very impressed. So just close it about 20, 30 minutes, and it's, uh, it's done. And again, all the seasonings are in there, um, wrapped up, so it'll be nice and juicy and flavorful. So depending on the size of your cooler, I mean, you could do as much as you need. That's right. It's awesome. Yep. All right, let's talk about how you marinated that okay. steak. Yeah, the steak, um, I have a little bit of cilantro here, some garlic, lime juice, uh, some mint that I already, uh, I threw in some water as well, so it, 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 chill it out a little bit it made it so it's a little bit easier to work with some uh, breadcrumbs and some almond I already have some salt and pepper here in the uh, in the food processor or blender so what we're gonna do is just add all these and make a pesto mm -hmm. and just add that about a half cup of each of those that mint that already rehydrated some cilantro three to four cloves medium uh, garlic cloves and the juice of a lime mm -hmm. a nice combo that's right and then we'll add about another half cup of olive oil so when people think marinade sometimes they think they have to submerge this that's in. right and like, is that no not so much not really I mean what there's two reasons to marinate a is to tenderize something so you say you have like a really tough cut of meat it, you add a little bit of acid, which we, here we have the lime, mm -hmm. and it tenderizes, breaks all the intermuscular tissues down, and makes it really easy to eat. And the other reason why we do it is for flavor. So something like this, we have flat iron steaks, which are really delicious. They're, they're lean, and um, they're really easy to work with. They're easy to grill, but they don't have a whole lot of fat. So here we're gonna add, and you know, fat equals flavor. So here we're gonna add the marinade, do it overnight, and then it'll have flavor that way instead of the traditional way. Okay. So. Um, I've actually cheated a little bit and have these steaks right here already. Um, it's not marinated. cheating; it's adjusting for television. That's right. It's okay. Um, so these sat overnight actually, and then uh, we'll throw these on the grill for about 
three to f uh, about four or five minutes each side for like a medium rare to medium. Okay. And then um, let them sit for a couple minutes and then rest and it'll be delicious to go with our corn and our caipirinha and all our festivities. Okay. All right. We're going to check back on the recipe in just a little bit and um, work on that cocktail. As Chris said, Chris Hill from the Bachelor Kitchen grilling outside making his outdoor debut on That's the Hampton right, Road Show. <laughs> All right, we're back out here on the patio with Chris Hill of the Bachelor Grill. I had to put the hair up, man. It's just too hot. I was, I was about to say it's a beautiful day out here, right? It's cool off a little bit, a little bit of clouds over us. Maybe I'm a little more but you're, sensitive to the humidity. we are by the grill, right? Yeah. And the steaks are looking beautiful. Are right, they? Yeah, they are. It's uh, nice and hot, and um, I just flipped them over. They'll be about four more, four more minutes probably. Okay. And then we'll take them off, let them rest for about three or four or five minutes. Let them, all the juices inside, redistribute, and then we will um, plate them up with our corn. Yeah. Which, as we put in, what, probably about 15, 20 minutes? Yes. Ago? This Not is the neatest thing. Yet, but, um, if somebody were just tuning in and they hadn't watched the first segment, we could say, guess where the corn is? Guess where it is? And they would never guess it's in the cooler. There. It's, there's no booze in there. Can we look at corn. it? Let's see. Yeah, so it's on this little... You can feel how hot it is. In here, oh, my right? gosh. And it's just insulated really well. And like I said before, there's already the butter and spices in there, so it's really nice and... Um, flavorful to be yeah able. people can just grab one of those foil packets put it on their plate not hold up the line exactly. getting the butter and the seasoning stuff because right. it's um, done and you don't have to mess with your kitchen at all mm -hmm. well since this is hot let's do a cocktail let's do a I cocktail in there, right um i have some ice in here these little glasses this is some watermelon puree mm -hmm. this is essentially watermelon juice just throw it right in the blender and because there's so much water in it to begin with it'll just buzz right up we have some cachaca we have some watermelon pucker which is a watermelon liqueur. What's cachaça? It is a Brazilian uh, rum, so to speak. So it's um, it's like in the rum family, and it's um, from Brazil, and it's really nice. Um, the typical drink that you make with it is a caipirinha, which is this with rock, uh, with ice, um, a little bit of sugar, and lime juice. And You've you made that for together. us before. I think I have, it's like a great. variation yeah. of it. Yeah, very simple. I remember now. And, uh, and this kind of goes in line with the, the, the flavor of the corn, and then also of the the steak and how it's kind of a made. generous pour, isn't it? Right, for both of us, right? Okay, if you say so. Um, yeah, about two ounces of cachaça, and then about four ounces. This make two drinks. Four ounces each of the watermelon puree. Mm -hmm. and then about another ounce of this watermelon pucker, which is watermelon flavored liqueur. It's been pretty sweet. Uh, like schnapps? Yep, such like a schnapps. Yep. And then a little bit of lime juice, we're going to squeeze right in there. So it'll tie back the caipirinha flavors to it. Mm -hmm. And we'll just squeeze about half a lime or so per drink. All right, and have no fear, we're going to put the recipe for this cocktail at the HamptonRoadShow.com, right. along with the recipe for the marinade and the steak. How and good the, is that smell back there? It smells fantastic. And the how-to for the cooler corn. That's right. Awesome. And, actually that's, and that's one of those recipes that my parents taught me. Really? Yep. Um, the first time I made the grill, they said, all right, well, we're going to have to do something. And they made the, uh, the cooler corn. Now, your folks, where are they today? Are they in Georgia? They're actually in Montana, of all places. Really? Yeah, they're out there. And of all things, they're playing golf out there. Good you for think them. they're fly fishing or hiking or something? My dad's a golfer, so they're uh, playing golf. Mm -hmm. You but, can still uh, say hi to them because they'll probably watch hey you guys. online. Hey, guys. Happy uh, Fourth of July. That's Go a see good some fireworks. Time. You're a good son. That's right. <laughs> so uh, these are done. Okay. And you know we can probably cheers. Cheers. We can probably go ahead and check out this corn. Okay, let's do that. That's not hot. It's not hurting your hand. Yeah, it's not too bad. Here's one for you. And one for me. Okay. Actually, your hands are full, huh? Yes. That's okay. But, but unwrap and we'll take a look. I should mention uh, Pat Dowd, who we like to call Pat P Dazzle, is on the roving camera today, giving everybody a view of that. Boy, that looks we'll say beautiful. Yeah. And yeah, again, it's already buttered and seasoned, mm -hmm. so uh, it's super easy. Then you just throw the full right away when you're done. And Fourth uh, of July, on a real super easy, uh, in a super easy way on the patio. Cooked in a cooler. All right. Now getting back to the steak. Yep. How do you know when it's done? Um, well, if you're good, you can tell by feel. Mm -hmm. um, but you, when you start to see it, 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 the juices start to bubble up. That's when you want to flip it. Yeah. I uh, wish I already did. Right. But, um, now, you talked about taking it off the grill and letting it rest. A lot of people hosting, you know, they want to make sure that they're serving their guests hot food and they're afraid right. to let the meat sit, so they cut it too soon. Yeah, Why should people not do that? Well, 
if you've ever done that before, which I think we probably all have before at some point in our lives, whether it's our Thanksgiving turkey dinner and you're like, everybody's waiting around, all right, when's the turkey done? When's the turkey done? You'll see your cutting board and it'll just be filled with all the juices. And that's, if you let it chill out for five minutes, 10 minutes, let all those juices redistribute, then you're eating all those flavors versus like having them go down the drain or all over your table or whatever else. All right, so be patient, it'll pay off. Uh, we're gonna let Chris patiently finish the rest of these steaks and we'll give it a try in just a little bit. And again, the recipe's online at thehamptonroadshow.com later on on this 4th of July.